Hello and guten Tag. I'm in the lovely little spa town of Bart Dorberan in northeast Germany, in a restaurant on the main shopping street. And these drivers are about to find out that they've picked very much the wrong time to go down it. Welcome to the motoring mayhem of the Molly Barn. This is Bart Dorberan Station in the state of Mecklenburg on Germany's Baltic coast. We're 20 minutes outside Rostock on a rural commuter line and about three hours north of Berlin. But we're also at the start of one of Germany's maddest railways, the Mecklenburgische Bäderbahn, the Mecklenburg Spa Railway, better known as the Molly. It was built to take tourists down to the beach, and these narrow-gauge steam engines have been running the line since 1932. Some of the carriages are even older than that. Incidentally, top travel tip before we start, if you visit this place and your phone is set to the English language, be a little careful when you message your family to say, hey guys, spending the night in Bart Doberan, because your autocorrect will tell them that you're spending the night in one of these. A bad Doberman. My dad still hasn't quite recovered from that. Anyway, from here the train runs through the town, then down to the seaside resort of Heiligendam, before turning left and following the coastline to Kulingsborn, where the journey ends. For most of the 15 kilometer trip, it's a normal train doing normal train things like passing poppy fields and stopping in stations. But what makes it different is what it does here in Bart Doberan. Because when I said it runs through the town, I really did mean through the town. This is one of the few remaining places in Europe where trains are routed directly along public streets alongside cars and pedestrians. They've been doing so since 1886, when the Grand Duke of Mecklenburg gave the go-ahead for the construction of the railway from here to Heiligendam, with an intermediate stop at the local horse racing track. And I'm not necessarily saying that the Grand Duke's own fondness for a day at the seaside and a flutter on the horses influenced the decision, but the railway opened less than a month later. The street section is only one kilometre long, but you'll have plenty of time to enjoy it, because the train has to travel so slowly along here that you're constantly overtaken by cars and bikes. And I don't mean motorbikes. When we finally leave the road, the train still seems reluctant to stray too far away, and instead runs alongside it all the way to Heiligendam. Heiligendam itself has quite a story behind it. When it was founded by the Grand Duke's granddad in 1793, it was the first seaside resort in continental Europe, which I guess means that this is pretty much the birthplace of German tourism, finally giving an entire nation somewhere to put their towels. In 2007, the Grand Hotel here hosted some of the world's great leaders and George W. Bush when it was used for the G8 summit. Now, apparently you can't even hold a summit for the eight most powerful people on earth these days without a load of protesters turning up. And the surrounding roads were immediately blocked by thousands of anti-capitalists, with the result that many of the attendees were forced to travel to and from the summit on the railway. For the next few kilometers, the track follows the Baltic coastline and its beautiful sandy beach. None of which you can see because it's behind a row of trees the whole way. 20 minutes later, and after a couple more stops, you end up at Kulungsborn, the end of the line. Here, you can watch the engine detach from the train and run back around to the other end, if that's your thing. You can also pop into the cafe for a drink, or you can visit the Molly Museum. Right, well that's that done. If you'd like a ride on the Molly, trains run every day with an hourly service in summer and every two hours in winter. An adult return ticket for the full length of the line costs 15 euros 50, but you can cut that down to four euros if all you want is a single ticket along the street section, which, let's face it, is the best bit. Because if you want to break all the rules of a pedestrian zone, or if you want to tell your boss, yeah, sorry I'm late, I'm stuck behind a steam train, there's no place quite like the Molly Barn.